This video will cover some options for controlling gypsy moths. These methods involve collecting and destroying the egg masses and caterpillars. Scraping the actual egg masses off the trees is probably one of the more effective ways to reduce uh, gypsy moth activity on a tree. And it's important to collect everything you scrape. Do not just scrape them on the ground. If you do that, um, they're still gonna hatch. Another option is to capture the caterpillars after they hatch. During the day, caterpillars travel down the tree in search of shelter from predators and travel back up the tree at night. You can catch the caterpillars by setting a trap around the trunk of the tree. One option is to wrap a fabric like burlap around the tree and secure with a string. Fold the burlap over so the caterpillars will get trapped in the folds of the fabric as they travel up the tree. The other option is to wrap duct tape around the tree. First, wrap several layers of duct tape around the tree, sticky side down. Then, twist the tape and wrap an additional few layers with the sticky surface facing out. To make the trap more effective, some people apply an additional sticky substance, like petroleum jelly, to the tape. You will have to remove and dispose of the trapped caterpillars every day, or even multiple times per day. Once you've collected the egg masses or caterpillars, you can destroy them by burning them, burying them in the ground, or leaving them in a bucket of soapy water for several days. In a yard setting, to keep trees further healthy, it's recommended that landowners water those trees during extreme dry periods. So about an inch of water every 10 days is adequate. Previously, it was thought that spraying pesticide was the only way to control gypsy moth. More recent science has found that gypsy moth has a natural boom and bust cycle. Spraying prevents the natural population crash and creates the need for repeated spraying to maintain control. To learn more, watch the previous video on Gypsy Moth Life Cycle. Oh,